Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you the process for creating a new guest profile. With creating a guest profile before the reservation, or using one that was previously created, it will save you and the guest time and accuracy by already having their personal data built when booking their new reservation and will provide stay statistics for management. A guest profile may be created before the guest actually stays at the hotel. We'll start by selecting the profile module and then under the new arrow select the guest profile hyperlink. You'll notice that there are only two required fields in yellow, the guest's first and last name. But to get the most out of using profiles, we want to complete as much guest information as possible. Also, note the screen is ready for our input. No need to click on anything. Just start filling in the data. If desired, you can attach a corporate account as well. If a search does not return the corporate account you're looking for, click Cancel. A corporate account profile must first be built under Corporate Accounts in order to be added to the guest's profile here. We can continue to add the guest's personal information of address, email, and phone number. We have a selection if the guest is a VIP with the hotel. If so, click the down arrow and select the appropriate option. As with the guest's other personal information, any comments added on the profile will populate into the guest's reservation. The last field is the payment type. If we complete the guest's payment type here and use this profile when booking the reservation, the payment type will also be filled in for us. We'll enter the guest's Visa credit card and expiration date. If you didn't want to save this guest profile, then you could select the red Cancel X on the ribbon bar. We want to save this, so click Save on the ribbon bar. We've finished creating the guest profile, and it's now ready for use when making reservations. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for any additional questions.